welcome to my garden. Today I want to talk to you about the techniques I use for organic gardening in my yard. For instance, this cover crop that you see in front of you is called winter rye. We plant this in October and it seeds itself in and it grows all winter long and in the spring what I'm getting ready to do now is turn it over and it will add organic matter and nitrogen to my soil. Here we have a planting of asparagus. I have approximately 75 plants of asparagus here that I put in over the years. First we started with Purple Passion, then we went to Jersey Supreme, and we've just recently added a row of Millennium, which is supposed to be a new cultivar that came from Canada, and it's supposed to be very good with heavy clay soils, and that's what we have in my yard. Asparagus is a very heavy feeder, so what I'd like to do here is add organic fertilizer and then top it with compost and we'll be all set for the growing season. Another thing I like to do for my asparagus bed is interplant it with parsley. Parsley is a companion plant that actually repels the asparagus beetle, which we do tend to get infested with from time to time. Early in the season, you want to pick the beetles off. The sooner you pick these beetles, the less likely they are to reproduce and, and create more pests. So it's best to get them picked early in the season. Here we have a planting of rhubarb. This is a very easy crop to grow. We don't fertilize it, we really don't water it. It just grows and gives us a very nice crop every year. Here in the back of our garden, it's a little bit shady, so we tend to grow um, lettuces and spinach and Swiss chard, they actually appreciate a little bit of shade in the hot afternoon sun. And they grow very well back here. We have a, a, assembled a raised bed and that gets the soil a little bit warmer a little bit earlier in the season. This is a coal frame that my husband and I constructed out of some boards and an old glass door. It's used to extend the season and we can actually grow things in here that are normally not hardy to our zone. Here in the central Massachusetts garden, we're approximately a zone five, and we're growing rosemary in here right now that we were able to pick and enjoy all winter long. Other crops that we would plant in here would be lettuce and spinach and um, things that, that prefer it a little bit on the cool side. Here are my two composters. I have a box style compost and I also have this tumbler. Normally what I like to do is fill the box style composter after I have emptied it in the spring and I'll start adding to that composter all summer long and then I'll let it decompose all winter and I'll use it again in the spring. And then I'll start filling this during the winter months. I unscrew the cover, I add all my kitchen scraps and this is very easy to manage because you just spin this, rotate it around stirs up your compost and you water it once in a while. If you don't have a plot of land that you can garden in, you can always do container gardening. We love these big tubs. My husband put them on casters so they can easily be rolled away or rolled into a sunnier spot. And I filled them with lettuce seed and actually it's starting to grow. In no time we'll be enjoying a nice fresh salad. I want to thank you today for joining us for this presentation on organic gardening. Just remember, if you can't grow your own garden, support organic gardening by uh, visiting your local farmers markets and buying organic produce. Remember, go green!